Hey guys, Matt McGinley. Um, hopefully you liked the, the prior video, uh, RFPs, what they're about, um, uh, and, and the, the, uh, uh, some of the values that you get as a business going through the process, uh, which I think is really important. Um, believe it or not, I'm still in the same t-shirt as the last video because I'm doing this right after the other one, making this video, um, trying to be a little bit more efficient at the time. Uh, and so I can do the editing and all that stuff, hopefully together. Uh, so maybe next week, this will line, line me up for, uh, uh, two videos, one on Monday and one on Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. So, so this one is about, um, everybody wins, um, uh, everybody wins is a saying that I learned uh, at a former life, um, and uh, I, I learned it from um, uh, Big John, uh, Big John Rogers, um, and uh, uh, and and um, at the Rogers Coffee Company, um, that was one of the sayings: "Is everybody wins." And so I've really kind of brought that in, adopted it. I think it's a great saying, um, and we can use that, right? Anybody can use that. And so what that meant. Um, was that everybody wins. So at the coffee company at San Francisco Bay, it was about um, everybody wins. We we owned our own farm. So we we're a vertically integrated coffee company. We owned our own farms. We worked directly with a lot of farmers in Panama, Mexico, Africa, etc. Um, we had some of our own milling operations. There's In the coffee world, there's a wet mill and there's a dry mill um, and source, right? In Panama, Mexico, wherever near where the coffee is harvested generally, right? So you have your harvesting, you have your milling operations, you know, then you have to bag it, right? right? Then you store it for a period of time, then you have to ship it, comes up here to, uh, to the roasting facility or wherever the roasting facility might be, then you have to roast it. So you have people that are roasting it, people that are packaged packaging it excuse me uh people you know, within that warehouse that are shipping it uh you have all your front end people your back end people you have your it people you have your accounting uh uh hr operations um you have all these people that are involved in that whole supply chain that whole chain of that product's life uh, here in Sacramento, we like to say farm to fork is a very uh, common used name and I, in other parts of the country too, but it's really big around here because agriculture is big. Uh, so, um, so everybody wins is really about everybody within that process who touches that product should win somehow, make some money, um, you know, be able to feed their family, um, you know, whatever it might be, uh, everybody should win. And in the coffee industry, especially the farmers, um, especially the, a lot of the smaller farmers, uh, that not the huge industrial farmers, uh, like in Brazil, etc. Um, but a lot of the smaller farmers who make great coffee, a lot of times they don't win, uh, for different reasons. Um, a lot of times maybe there's someone in, you know, um, operations, uh, is not winning, you know, not, um, uh, you know, in, in their, in their mind, not winning. So it was really about people winning across the supply chain, uh, and all the way to the customer. So the coffee farmer has to win. Those of us roasting, packaging, processing have to win. Uh, our customer has to win. Now our customer could have been like a Costco or an Amazon or direct to the customer, to the consumer. So you, everybody has to win in that, in that, in that relationship. Cause at the end of the day, that's a relationship. So, uh, Big John saying was, and you know, others there was everybody win. Um, and I really believe in that. So the reason for this comment for this vlog is to just to, to share that knowledge to share that information about that mindset about when you go through your business, how does everybody win? And it's, it's in this day and age, I find it, that people and businesses don't think like that a lot, unfortunately. It's r really selfish these days uh, in, in many different ways. Not everybody, not everything, but there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, maybe it's, you know, maybe my idea is making a better world and all that good stuff. Maybe it's too grandiose. Uh, maybe it's too naive. Um, but it's, it's nice to think about when you're doing your business day to day. Um, how do people win? How, how do you win across this whole world that we're in? And so that's just what I'm leaving this with is think about everybody wins when you, when you're, when and as IT people, how do you, you know, especially like IT managers or people managing people, how, how, how do you win? But really to me, more importantly is how does my team win? 
Um, how do the people that I can influence win? Because if they're winning, odds are I'm going to win too, right? Just like a team. Uh, we're all a team, I think, in this in this in this um, winning. And uh, if we're not a team, then we're not going to probably win very well. So how do you win? Let's win as a team. Let's win as a company. Uh, let's win as a, as a society. Um, and so that's really, I've had some experiences lately with some large, uh, uh, technology companies where their mindset is more like just the typical big conglomerate, like, you know, oh, you know, you, you did this and, you know, we're, you know, we're in stuck in this contract or, you know, you know, part of business A doesn't talk to part of business B and you're just trying to figure it out, like figure out, hey, how can we work this out, this thing that we're working on? Well, I don't know, part A, part part A over there. Yeah, they say they're doing this, but I'm doing this over here and I don't know what the, they're, what they're doing and just how do we all win? There's, I've been involved in um, uh, some uh, uh, large companies that uh, have, um, uh, sold products that did not work and kind of wanted a refund, right? Like a lemon law, if you will, right? No, and that didn't happen. They're like, oh, sorry, you signed the product, uh, you signed your agreement, and uh, we're not going to, uh, to, we don't care if the product can't even operate well. Um, and that's one reason why um, I wanted to co found Distilled Data, is because of, 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 the um the just the not caring about a customer and just caring about oh i got the sale um and so think about everybody wins think about how does the customer win how does how did the salespeople win but how does the, biz, the business win as well think about how does a guy or a gal who's doing the customer service part and they have to deal with all these irate customers sometimes and how do they win uh, think about the help desk person. How do they win, right? Um, a lot of those people, you know, have to deal with a lot. Um, and so think about how do they win in this whole thing? Um, how do those customers win, right? So we can get a happy customer as well. So just think about that. So this is really about everybody's wins. Thank Big John for kind of uh, uh, sharing that mindset with me. He's a, he was a brilliant guy. Um, and I learned a lot from him and it's amazing how 20 years later, roughly, uh, after meeting him, uh, that sticks in my mind all the time and how it really is part of who I am, I hope. Um, and I think if more people thought that way, we would have a better world. So think of everybody winning. Uh, with that, I hope you guys are winning, uh, getting something out of this. Uh, then, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And some uh, things that are coming up, I've mentioned them a little bit before, um, but talk a little bit more about Hungry, Humble, and Smart. Uh, we got to get a little IT stuff, right? Uh, printers, um, um, a little bit of SQL stuff. Um, and I'm also going to try to do uh, some shorts. YouTube is doing shorts now. And I think as I go throughout days, right, a day, and, I'm like, and I can just have quick 30 second a minute comment about boom, 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 whatever it might be um, I think doing some shorts will be interesting so they won't be as structured you know as long uh, the goal of this was to have like five to ten minutes or five six seven minute vlogs these are more like five to eight to ten minutes um, so I you know maybe I can mix in some shorts and get little bits of pieces of information in there and have a little bit more of these five to ten minute uh, vlogs and uh, hopefully soon maybe some guests to get to about 20 minutes 25 minutes There's some guests so I hope you find this some informative uh, more to come I really appreciate all your support out there and people uh, uh, laughing and uh, saying that they enjoy it and uh, and I hope that I hope uh, this is helpful to you guys so uh, we'll talk to you soon thank you very much